Todd Moore and his brother Blaine farm together near Francis, Saskatchewan, where they crop over 8,000 acres each year. As the farm grew, they needed a service truck which would help them look after all their equipment and farm work as efficiently as possible. Several years ago, they decided to design their own service truck on a 2002 Mack truck chassis. Um, before, we couldn't haul enough fuel to the field and uh, parts, and we wanted something that we could use to lift uh, mini bulk bags of canola seed into the air drill and edge bags in the fall into the, the Velmar. So we wanted something with a crane on it, um, uh, fairly decent fuel capacity, and the tools and some odds and ends on parts and what have you. The truck was in pretty good shape when they bought it, and it had about 75,000 miles on it. Most of those miles were put on in the seismic industry, doing tests to help determine where to drill for oil. It had a seismic shack on it, like a doghouse, and we took that off, and where that doghouse was, we put the crane and, and fuel tank there. Um, the, the service deck part was originally on it, and that was the main key, the aluminum service deck, so we don't have to worry about uh, rust on it. It's light. The deck comes in handy for carrying heavy loads, especially at seeding time. The crane then can be used to move these loads up to 19 feet from the center of the truck. Here we see a picture of the crane being put to work filling their air seeder cart with canola. Our lifting capacity will vary on distance. The further out the reach, the less the lift. Uh, mini bulk bags of canola and edge, it lifts just fine. We've actually lifted the back end of a combine at harvest time off the ground to change the a flat tire we had happened here a year ago, and it'll do that, but it's, it's a lot for it. They equipped the service truck to meet a variety of needs around the farm, including unforeseen battery problems. We put a set of battery posts here to boost equipment if need to be. Uh, the crane, we installed the crane on here. It's just a typical knuckle boom crane. Fuel tank is 620 gallons. It's enough for two combines uh, right now. Auto shut off valve. The bottom, we've got a storage container cabinet for oil. Carry engine oil, hydraulic oil, our funnels. Our funnels go into a holding compartment any dripped oil goes in and we can drain off later once it's full. The next door on the side of the deck opens to a toolbox which carries a variety of handy tools as well as rechargeable batteries. We've got a, a 12 volt power converter that converts 12 volt power to 110 to charge our grease gun batteries and cordless drills. Uh, rechargeable light um, this we can also run grinders on if need to be or drills, but we don't use it. We've got a, a onboard power plant that runs that stuff. Um, bolts, what have you, miscellaneous compartments here. In the, the slide out trays, uh, you can get various trays and sizes. Since there is only a limited amount of space on their service truck, Moore says they did their very best to make the most of it. Chains, come-alongs, big hammers, um, the vise we keep in here, it, it slides in a pocket here if needed to be. They made sure to equip the truck with the necessary supplies for doing a variety of shop work right in the field. Another compartment, oxygen, acetylene, grinders, welder cables, and we've got hydraulic rams on most of the big doors so you don't get hit with the wind by the door. Those are very nice. Like all of us, the Moore brothers aren't getting any younger. They made it easier to fuel up by putting in a sliding set of steps on the side of the truck. Blaine says they set up the various features on this truck to help them do a better job of running their 8,000 acre farm. Try and have enough tools and the basic parts with that you can get up and going as soon as possible. Uh, efficiency is the key when you're paying wages for men. You don't want them sitting around too long. Um, usually there's one of us here, if something breaks at harvest time, there's usually a man there right away. 
Even though the truck has worked quite well for them in the three years they've been using it, Blaine says as time goes on, they continue to find ways to make improvements to it. At some point, they may even decide to replace this truck. The only thing I would change is maybe have a truck with an automatic where this one doesn't have an automatic. And the only reason I say that, it's a little more easier to drive for whoever is driving it. Um, and that might even come down the road, a, a truck with an automatic, and maybe the next one might even be a tandem. Converting the Mack truck into a service truck took the Moore brothers two winters of working in their spare time. The truck itself, along with all the various materials they purchased for the project, came to a total of just under $35,000.